And we begin tonight with the historic summit in Singapore. And in just a few hours, President Donald Trump will become the first sitting U.S. president to meet with the leader of North Korea. The White House says the president and Kim Jong-un will meet alone with just their interpreters at the beginning of the summit. CBS 4's Mola Lange has the latest from the White House. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un waved to the crowds as he took a nighttime stroll around Singapore ahead of his one-on-one -on -one meeting with President Trump. Earlier in the day, President Trump met with Singapore's president and expressed optimism about the summit. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo spent part of the day with North Korean officials to lay the groundwork for the meeting. The fact that our two leaders are sitting down face to face is a sign of the enormous potential to accomplish something that will immensely benefit both of our peoples and the entire world. The White House says the only outcome the United States will accept is complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. But Secretary Pompeo avoided specifics about what the U.S. is offering North Korea in exchange. We're prepared to take what will be uh, security assurances that are different, unique, than have been provided, that America has been willing to provide previously. Pompeo also said the U.S. will keep up the economic pressure until North Korea takes verified steps to dismantle its nuclear arsenal. Former NBA star Dennis Rodman, a longtime friend of the North Korean dictator, arrived in Singapore ahead of the summit. People should not expect so much uh, for the first time. The Trump administration has said Rodman has no official role in the negotiations. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House.